This entire pan has 600 calories, it's spicy, it's sweet, and most importantly, it's made in less than 20 minutes. So to start things off, I will start with adding 50 gram of rice into a pot. I will use jasmine rice, but any rice that you have on hand will work. I will also add a small pinch of salt and 125 grams of water. This ratio is for the size of my pot, the optimal way to make rice. Now turn the stove on high, wait for a minute until the water starts boiling, then switch the heat to low, close the lid and let it simmer for 12 to 15 minutes. And this is also the time that the entire recipe needs. The next part is the most important one and it's the combination of spices. I will add into a glass half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Mix this until combined and set this aside. You can also add all the spices into the pan while cooking. I just like to have everything prepared when staying in front of the pan. Next are the vegetables. I will dice one yellow onion, this weighs 70 gram, and then one entire red bell pepper. I will half it, remove the core, cut it first into strips and then into small cubes. The last thing is 100 gram of cherry tomato that I will cut into smaller pieces as well. This entire board of vegetables has less than 100 calories and is an amazing way to add a ton of volume to your meals so they fill you up. To make a creamier sauce, I will use this cream cheese called Laughing Cow or La Vache Querite if you live in Europe. These come in small 30 calorie veggies and are usually used as a spread of bread because it's soft texture, but are absolutely amazing to make a sauce creamy, especially with ground beef. Because it's quite a lot of food, I will use two veggies for this recipe. The last thing to prepare is 180 gram of extra lean ground beef. This particular one has 5% fat. And now let's get cooking. I will start with adding two seconds of oil into a pan of medium heat. The onions and the pepper will go in first and I will fry them under occasional stirring for about three to four minutes. They will slowly become soft and get brown spots from the caramelization. After 4 minutes I will push them to the edge of the pan, spray another touch of oil, switch the heat to medium high and now add in the beef. Try to spread the beef with a spatula so as much beef as possible gets in contact with the pan for maximum browning. About 90 seconds later I will add the spice mix on top of the meat and also vegetables and give them a nice stir so everything is combined. Now I will add in the tomatoes and optional I like to add a couple of pickled jalapenos. About 5 to 6 pieces will go into the pan. Give everything another stir, switch the heat down to medium and then add a splash of water maybe 50 grams, close the lid and let it simmer for 2 minutes. The tomatoes will release now all of the juices and will already create quite a creamy sauce because of all of the pectin from the tomatoes. This is where I will go in with my laughing cow and try to incorporate them into the sauce by pressing them down with my spatula. This will take about a minute or so until the sauce turned into an orange gooey meat mixture and look at this. It's creamy, it's spicy and just looks amazing. At this stage the rice should be ready as well, so what I like doing is just transfer everything into the pan and mix it until you have a one pot beef and rice mixture. This entire pan of food comes in with 612 calories. 61 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat and 51 grams of protein. Click on this video to see how to make a cheeseburger bowl that you will probably like as well, so see you there.